Hello healers and health seekers. It's me, Ichoda, here with another What's Up Wednesday update, asparagus style. Remember how I told you a couple weeks ago that I our Costco has organic asparagus and we have been we bought a case of it and I was really excited to juice it all. Well, since then, um I have juiced the whole case, I think. No, I have. <laughs> I know I have. And um, I've been juicing at least a bunch of asparagus every day, eating it for dinner. I eat it, I drink it, I get it in me all kinds of ways. And um, Costco continues to have asparagus, so I'm just going to keep this going until Costco stops having asparagus, I guess, because, I don't know, it's really exciting to have such an abundance of it and to be able to get it regularly. So we just keep topping up our supply our fridge is full of asparagus <laughs> celery and asparagus and <laughs> cucumbers and anyway so so how's it going you, you could maybe be wondering how is it going with this asparagus i guess i guess the asparagus made the uh shingles virus in my body kind of mad and um <laughs> and it and so they they started really doing battle. So kind of around the same time that I added the asparagus juice every day, I also added um, Lobelia, 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 not sure if the exact right way to say it, um, tincture, which is a, a shingles fighter. And also I added ALA, alpha lopaic acid. Um, two supplements I had not previously been taking and I added them uh, well, one supplement, one herb. I added them to cut up my fight against the shingles virus while I'm also upping my fight against strep by increasing like my golden seal and sovereign silver and stuff like that. So, um, but I'm currently on a break from golden seal because you have to pulse it and take breaks. And so I'm on a break from licorice and golden seal right now. And the asparagus and the supplements to combat shingles seem to have angered the viruses in my body, so I've been going through a bit of a flare for a couple of weeks or longer. If you see my arms moving like this, it's because I'm petting the pug that is sitting below me, uh, in front of me, I mean, and, <laughs> and that is also her snore that you might have heard, just so you know. She just likes to keep me company while I make videos and do anything else. The, so I've been going through a bit of a flare, and here's what it looks like symptom-wise. I have had more pain in my shoulders, across my shoulders. I have had more, um, like a, it's like a tightness and a pain, that, and I've learned to recognize it these past, you know, 19 months. I've learned that that is a viral pain. It's oddly not just a random muscle pain. It happens when there's... A viral flare in my body. I have bursitis in my hips, which is a diagnosis I have, but we all know that it's really shingles in my hips. And that's been flaring a bit. And um, random pain points that I associate with what I call my fibromyalgia pain, uh, that's kind of been like not bad, but only if somebody touches it. <laughs> and so if like the dog climbs on me or the cat climbs on me, it, it'll, I'll sometimes feel it. Or if my son puts his foot feet on my lap or something, I'm like, eh, it kind of hurts. So, oh, in my lower back, I have these two spots in my lower back in the sacral area. I call them my sacral spots and <laughs> cause I'm so creative with naming and, um, those have been hurting. So that's my, that's been my flare. Oh, and fatigue. I've just said, I've had a little more fatigue and I just get tired earlier. Now, here's the good news. Because I've healed so much, and a lot of my other viral load is really kicked down. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm having a flare. It just means I need to rest a little more. I get tired earlier in the day. I'm not quite able to do as much. I don't have as much energy throughout the day. But I am still so much more functional, again, to harken back to when I was my sickest, I am still so much more functional. And so 
even though I know I'm going through this flare and I notice these sensations in my body and I'm like, oh, okay, symptoms are kicking up. And I'm like, guess the asparagus and lobelia and, uh, and uh, the ALA are fighting the good fight in there because <laughs> they've really made the viruses mad. So they're kicking it up. So then um, a few days ago, and this actually just ended yesterday, a few days ago I had um, this is a TMI alert. I'm a, I'm about to tell you some, I don't know if you're squeamish or whatever, but uh, just so you know, it's coming TMI. Um, <laughs> so a few days ago I started just being, feeling like my body was just like a giant balloon, just blowing up. It's just constantly just felt like blowing up and then like so much gas, <laughs> like I was so gassy. And I was just pooping constantly. Mm -hmm. See, that's the TMI. I don't know how people feel about listening and stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. and I just, but it was just so much coming out of me. And then also the odor gets stronger and stuff like that, which means something's coming out, you know, like icky stuff's coming out, which I think is great news. Like I am delighted if I have to poop even more than I already do, which is kind of a lot already because I'm in just a kind of constant state of detox. So stuff's always coming out. But like if the odor gets stronger and there's a lot more of it, I'm like, yes, good, get that gunk out, like whatever it is that's coming up and out. And then because it went on for like two or three days, I don't know, maybe even more, whatever, I'm not quite sure. But, and then I thought, is this gonna stop? Is this like, did I do something in my, like what, and I'm trying to think back to what I've been eating. Like, did I do something and I'm I eating something that's just really, you know, or is the asparagus juice really kind of causing me issues? But I was like, I'm just going to keep doing it and see what happens. Because, of course I am. And then yesterday it just stopped. Like, no more blown up balloon feeling, bloaty feeling. No more gas. Oh, thank gosh. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that feeling. So just none of that. It just stopped. And I was like, oh, whew, it's done. And then also my my pooping returned to normal it wasn't because i even had like a little bit of like liquid liquid coming out and i was like oh boy what is going on with me but i think it's just the that stuff was just moving like viral toxins out because i feel better after that and i'm much clearer today and then so the other thing that i started just three days ago i think this is day three now is for the love of lime on Instagram. And I think she's maybe starting a YouTube channel. So if she is, I'm gonna link to it. No, she did, yes, because I subscribed to it. So I will link to her YouTube channel. But she also is really more of a presence on Instagram. A lot of us are. And for the love of lime said, hey, I'm gonna do the 90 day thyroid rehab challenge from medical medium's book, Thyroid Healing. Who wants to join in? And a bunch of us are joining in. I don't know how many, but so many. <laughs> and like Breaking Free with Whitney and Organic Faith, I think. And um, Art and Spirit. I don't, I can't remember everybody. Lots of people. <laughs> Lots of the people I know. I think Tara Tom. And Anyway, so a bunch of people who I follow on Instagram who are other medical media healing warriors are doing this 90-day thyroid rehab healing challenge. So basically what it is, it's really kind of already what I'm doing, but now I'm doing it with other people. And and I also have plus asparagus juice in my in mine. So what it is is of course drinking, making sure you drink 16 to 32 ounces of lemon juice water in the morning and then another later in the day, drinking of course the celery juice, doing uh, an aloe juice in the afternoon or a cucumber juice and then staying off the no foods which you know of course staying off eggs canola dairy gluten corn soy pork farmed fish msg artificial sweeteners all that stuff so staying off the no foods you know these by now right and making sure to bring those you know liver flushing beverages in and for me also the asparagus juice <laughs> so we're all doing that together 
if you want to get on, in on it, it's not too late to start. It's 90 days, and um, I think each stage is like 30 days long. So this is like stage one, and then stage two will step up. It's on page, I believe, 227 of the Thyroid Healing Book. This book right here <laughs> that I have, the Thyroid Healing Book. Very wonderful book. If you don't already have it, why? You should get it. It's a good book. You should get all these. <laughs> you should get life-changing foods, thyroid healing, and of course, my favorite, medical medium, secrets behind chronic and mystery illness, how to finally heal. Because that's the way, man. Oh, see all these bookmarks? I've been doing um all these little marks. That's actually kind of why I brought these in here to show you. So I marked in the books like where all the recipes were because also Anthony William puts recipes on the Medical Medium blog and I am doing like some organizing of like menu planning and things like that and I'm trying to make something that will in the future be something I can share with other people so that you have like maybe a guideline for how to eat or whatever if you want that and uh, maybe some kind of a I don't know we'll see how what it comes to be. He also has recipes on the blog that aren't in the books and so I wanted to make sure that like I knew which exact recipes were in the books and where to find them so that I knew which ones to print out from the blog. So I was doing that yesterday, getting all organized. And today, yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm a little excited about that because I'm, I'm able to do a little bit more organizing around creating a meal plan and a menu and getting recipes together. And I have a tendency when I make recipes to make recipes um, mine and not intentionally, but I just always, I know my family's tastes, I know what I like, I know what food tastes like, so it's really easy for me to just change it up and making the mine and stuff like that, trying new things, seeing what my family likes, trying to find more stuff that my son will eat that we will all eat. Because we'll, my husband and I are much more open to eating a, a wide variety of things and my son is a little bit more picky, he has very specific tastes. so. I will often change things to suit that. Okay, so I was also just going to talk about what has happened with me with the asparagus juice. I, I don't know why I did that, but I had to just keep doing it for a second. And I did talk a little bit, so I said I added it in, and I'll put a couple of links. Uh, I'll put a link below to my a blog post where I will have a couple of asparagus juice recipes that I really like. So yes, I've had the flare, which seems to actually be going down now after that sort of big detox, that three, four day detox that I just had. Uh, the flare seems to be a little bit less. And so I'm hoping it's on its way out, which is great, which also means if that's the case, that the my body is winning that war in there because the shingles can't fight as hard. So yay body, woo woo. So of course, um, with the doing the, uh, with doing the asparagus juice, stuff is flushing out of my liver more. So I'm doing, you know, keep continuing the doing detox baths to support that. And when I do the detox baths, I definitely notice the difference and that's great. So I just, it, I keep remembering that. And so at least once or twice a week, I'm having a detox bath. If you're really ambitious, you can have them every night and that's fine and maybe I should, but I just can only round myself up to do it once or twice a week because a detox bath is like a whole event for me and I I get I just get like all sleepy in the water and meditative and like I'll listen to podcasts or audiobooks or whatever <laughs> or read. Sometimes I just read a regular book. And then I just end up staying in there for like an hour or more. And then, you know, with the skin brushing beforehand and then putting all the body butter on after, it's like a two-hour event. <laughs> so I don't want to do it every day. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure out how to shorten it, but this is just what happens every single time. So. so the skin on my cheeks, you know, my places that always tell me like what's going on in my body, it's gotten like, first it got like really bad. And it was just like 
red dots and blotchy and bad. And then it like started to clear up. And I was like, oh my gosh, is my, is my skin going to clear up? And then it kind of went back again. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, not yet. But it's clearing up a little, but I don't know. You can still, I mean, you still see the pink and red or whatever, but so it's not clear, but it's, it's getting, I guess, all together progressively better, but it's, it does it in that sort of like, oh, 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 ah, oh, <laughs> kind of way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what's happening to my skin. So, yeah, and then also when I started the juicing initially, I just felt clear the way I do today, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is great. And then the detox started to happen, and then I didn't, you know, I had, I've been having more fatigue and, and the flares I told you about. And that's so it's all fine. I'm just noticing it. It's just watching it happen and supporting my body through it and resting when I need to rest and going to bed earlier when I need to go to bed earlier and just trusting that my body is doing what it needs to do and let it happen. So today I have started my day and I had the 32 ounces uh, lemon water that I always start my day with and then I had the 16 ounces celery juice a half hour later that I always this is the way I always do every day. And because I was the first one awake and my son was not up yet, so I kind of had the place to myself, and I wait until he gets up to make the heavy metal detox smoothie. So I'm like, hmm, I still have time before he gets up, so I guess I will make another juice. And then I had my asparagus juice. And then he did get up while I was drinking my asparagus juice, which is another 32 ounces of juice. And I usually make him a combination celery apple juice because I'm we are acclimating to the celery taste it's it's a lot for him and and because he's kind of a super taster so he can't he can't do straight on celery but he'll do celery mixed with apple so I just kind of keep you know shifting the balance of those two and today he was like oh, it doesn't taste right so I gave him lemon water instead he has lemon water with honey and I also drank his celery and apple juice <laughs> So I have had a crazy amount of juice this morning, which is kind of, it's awesome though. And I feel like wired for sound. I'm like, what? And not in like a caffeinated jittery way, but just in a like, I have energy. What can I do next? Okay, let's get some stuff done. Let's do things today. And I'm, this is like, I love when I have days where I feel like this. And I think it's just all that juice and all having just cleared out all that icky stuff you know, a couple days ago, I'm just feeling good. So yeah, liking it. So I'm just gonna keep this asparagus juice thing going um, until Costco runs out of asparagus or, you know, unless one of my other stores starts carrying it for that great of a price and I start buying it there. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing this for an indefinite period of time. We'll see. Um, cause I'm really liking it. And, and now I'm here doing the kind of officially doing the 90 day thyroid rehab challenge. And that's awesome too, because you know, the community around us, like supporting each other and talking about it and keeping it in each other's social media space so that we are seeing it every day and seeing what other people are doing and how they're faring and hearing their progress stories and stuff like that. So that's what's up today. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. I would love to hear your comments. Hey, are you doing the 90 day thyroid rehab challenge? If you even if you haven't started it yet, you still can. It's, it's where this is only day three. So you can do it. What's your morning routine? Do you do a lot of juice in the morning and then and then on to heavy metal detox smoothie salad, whatever, you know, tell me about you. How are you doing? I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Stay curious. Blessings to all of your continued healing. I love you. Bye-bye.